I'm gonna start with this little yeah, go floaty for it, here. So do you pick out your palette before you jump in? Yeah, okay, yeah, good, try good. to figure out what I'm gonna do with the colors, you know? Not as refined as I am. I'm just like, yeah, it seems like a cool color, why not? <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of Inside the Lines. Today I'm sitting down with my friend, Baltimore photographer Isaiah Winters. Yes sir. Thanks for coming on to the show, man. Thanks for having me. Of course, I'm man. So happy to be here. Sweet. So, as with every episode, we start with choosing our canvas and we're yeah. getting down to the nitty gritty here, so. Okay. There's really only two options that we have left today. Okay. So the decision oh, is yours. Oh man. I know we can go. This is tough. Under the sea or or near the sea. With you the know what? I was literally just listening um, to a movie review mm -hmm. about that new underwater movie with Kristen Stewart. Oh yes. So let's do the let's do the sea okay. one. I think that's. Was it a good let's... review? I actually just watched that on Thursday. Did you? Yeah. I, you know, I didn't get far enough. It sounded like it was interesting. Like they had some issues, but it yeah, sounded it's not, entertaining. It's, it's not perfect. Yeah. So how long have you been doing photography, man? I have been um, shooting photos since I was about five years old. Wow. Um, my mother was a musician mm. and she would always take me to the studio with her and one day we just happened to be there with one of the photographers and he had us sit down and um, he took a Polaroid picture of us and let me like grab it and shake it. And <laughs> you're not even supposed to shake Polaroids. Like, I don't know, oh, it's yeah, just that's a, such thing. a thing. Like, so, but that action of me, gra you know, taking the Polaroid, shaking it and watching it develop was like it. I was hooked. Uh -huh. um, every birthday I either wanted a new film, disposable camera or film or a photo album. So I kind of just been shooting for a long time. Um, but digital and kind of the work that I've been doing lately, I'd say really it's been about seven years or so. Mm -hmm. um, and mostly that corresponds with uh, my time moving to Baltimore. Um, when I first moved to the city, I didn't know, you know, I didn't really know anybody. I didn't know about any of the groups or, you know, meetups and things going on. So. I would just walk around the city um, and do street photography, cityscapes, things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that's kind of where that subject matter um, in my portfolio comes from, just that time walking around the city and exploring a bit. Nice. Um, what, do you remember what your first camera that you shot with was? Ooh, <laughs> I do, I can picture it, but it's not like, yeah. it's not a brand. I exactly. swear it was like, it was like a $30 camera, <laughs> but you know, when you're like six years old, $30, that that might as well be a million dollars. That's true. Um, so it was in one of these local bodegas. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, so I was from Brooklyn, New York, mm -hmm. and uh, we were in a random bodega doing something. I think my grandmother was picking up, you know, a few things. And I just begged for it and it was a big thing. It was like the biggest thing I had gotten up until that point. Um, so to this day, like literally I could draw you a picture of what that camera looked like, but I couldn't tell you the exactly. brand of it. Just nice. some random pharmacy, pharmacy camera. Um, so you are one of the people with the Be More Creatives team. I am. Correct? Shout out Be More Creatives. So what what got that? Like, were you there from the, the start with them? Like, what kind of got that so going? So I was not, and a lot of people don't really know the story of how the Be More Creatives got founded. So it was started um, by Alexa Gaines and Lucy Camp mm -hmm. a few years back around 2014, 2015 time period. Um, and they both were just, they, they were friends in college, they went to school together, and they both realized that there was not really um, an Instagram or, or social feed where people could see, you know, what's going on art-wise, what's going on in the creative world, and not just, you know, dedicated artists, but everyday people, you know? So what are people thinking about when they're walking around town? What are they taking photos of? What are they, you know, working on? Mm -hmm. So it kind of started with that idea. And the funny thing is the reason that I met Lucy and Alexa and got involved with, 
you know, the Be More Creatives and kind of where I am right now is through one of their networking events. So okay. they threw a networking event and it actually happened to be on my birthday. I think it was like my 26th birthday or something like that. Awesome. And we had not met previously. You know, I, I met a bunch of new people there, a bunch of artists in the, in the city. Mm -hmm. And they actually found out it was my birthday and had the restaurant we were at prepare a birthday cake for me. What? And like, I was having <laughs> the worst day. Like, it was just the worst birthday ever. Oh, goodness. Um, and it was, it was incredible. And like, that was the first time I had really linked up with a bunch of people. Um, so we became friends from, uh, from that. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, a few years down the line when we decided to expand, uh, Lucy moved to Chicago, so she's out there now. Okay. And myself and Becky Stavely, um, and on Instagram, she's our endless adventure. Um, great photographer, amazing marketer. She's just the best. We joined Alexa in around 2017. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the team now. So three of us. We have a bunch of different things we work on. You know, we. Um, I was gonna say I've noticed you like do some sponsoring of events. Yeah, we try like to that. we try to do what we can to connect the community, and it's more about um, you know now we're trying to work with a lot of artists and groups and people who are already out there doing cool things, you know. So it's not like we're reinventing the wheel. I mean, all of our community is is so amazing and and strong, and and it thrives because of the people here, you know, locals, um, just wanting to you know, showcase what they're doing and what they're working on. Mm -hmm. So it's been cool and we've been able to use that influence to convince a lot of businesses to work with artists and we've we've done a lot of collaborations and have some stuff coming up. So I'm excited. I mean, it's been a really huge honor to be able to work on some of these things and yeah. um, the connections and stuff made. It's just like night and day from you know, when I first moved here and didn't know anyone to now, it's like, I feel like there's a huge community of people that I can reach out to and rely on, so. And so I also noticed from your Instagram feed and everything, you do stuff with the Pixel? Like yes, Google Pixel? with Google, yeah. yeah. Yeah, So how did, like, how did that come about, if you don't mind my answer? Google is amazing. Um, I know that could be controversial at times, but <laughs> when I was first starting out here in the city, mm -hmm. um, they, I was working with an agency in New York, just doing, you know, little campaigns here and there. This is before the word influencer. So we're just like, all right, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just doing these little mini shoots and stuff for brands. Yeah. Um, and Google was starting their own kind of secret club of creatives and artists that they wanted to roll things out to and test things out on mm -hmm. um and i was you know i had a pretty small following but was just producing the work i was doing here in the city yeah um and the agency i was with um obviously obviously co that's the name of them at the time just loved my work and submitted it to them thinking you know there's a good chance that they probably won't pick you up just because you know i'm not a mega influencer or big person here but uh they took it they reviewed my portfolio and loved it and like that's amazing it, it changed my career it was a game changer they yeah. uh they sent me the original google pixel before it came out and there were about 20 20 of us that they did um they sent it to and i had just traveled out to montana to glacier national park uh -huh. um for the first time so they sent it to me and I got to photograph the park with that phone and what? it was that phone and that experience that changed my whole view on like cameras and photography. And I was always, you know, with digital, it's like, you know, your sharpness and this and that. And like, for me, it was like, wow, I have this phone. I have this thing in my pocket that's always gonna be there. Uh -huh. um, and I can rely on the camera to like give me results that I would be proud to, you know, to share exactly and send out and like most people i don't think a lot of people realize that a lot of shots are just with my phone like it's it's not a camera all the time um because in a lot of situations it's hard to get a big rig oh, yeah. or your you, stuff you, set up it's just like i can't do it you got it right there if you just need to pop it out for yeah. sure so with them um from that initial pixel one thing like we've gotten to travel all over the country with mm -hmm. them and 
speak at events and be part parts of different things. And I just did a collaboration with um, Justin Temple. Uh, he's a big yogi here in the city. Awesome. And um, yeah, it was great. They just really love supporting um, the arts and kind of just throwing resources and kind of ideas at you. Mm -hmm. And honestly, the biggest changes in my career, I've gone on different retreats and, and, and talks and things like that have been those opportunities that they uh, just sent along. Mm -hmm. um, and like, I really don't know how I would have had those, you know, those chances otherwise. I just, right place, right time, you know, and yeah, the right that's, work. That's amazing. So tell me about what are some some upcoming goals for this year and going into the future for you? Oof. Um, <laughs> I want to start working on a book of a lot of the work that I shot when I was out in Montana. Okay. Um, I just met some of the most incredible people and like saw the most beautiful sights. And, and I had been out there before, but this time we got to really um, spend a lot of time with like some of the park employees and rangers and scientists and the conservancy out there that's raising a lot of the money for projects going on out there so mm -hmm. a lot of the a lot of people don't realize that most of our national parks don't have uh the budgets they need to operate like the budget the operating budgets haven't changed in years and years so i think glacier it's something like 13 million dollars or something that they get to operate this huge massive wow, national yeah. park that's also a joint park with canada mm -hmm. um so it's it's tough and just getting to spend time like living with these people and learning about all the efforts that they do to you know restore the buffalo or working with the uh, native american population out there and trying to you know meet in the middle on a lot of these issues it's just fascinating like people are giving everything they have you know just to try to save our public land mm -hmm. um so for me that project was huge and like definitely changed me and i want to be able to showcase a lot more of that work and just like uh kind of in an objective way just so people can see what i saw and like yeah. make their own you know uh decisions about it but i feel like you know, a lot of places in this country, you know, even outside of the main area near the park, there's so much more. And like, I feel like through film and TV and some other things, like we have our own assumptions about what goes on, but we really don't know. And I just like loved spending time out there. I was out there for a little bit more than a month mm -hmm. uh, with a bunch of other creatives and they were all amazing, so. That's, that's definitely a goal for this year. I have a lot of the selects and stuff I'm going through now. And like, I've had some amazing people like uh, Micah and Corinne and a few others take a look at the work and, and see. And like, I'm trying to be um, deliberate with the process and just take my time with it. No, that's the way to be for sure. So I'm really excited about that. And then this, this year, it's weird to say this year. I can't <laughs> believe it's 2020, like, right? what's going on? Um, <laughs> I want to travel more, um, but I've been doing a lot of traveling for like work and projects and like I think I need to slow down and like like you said, just kind of take it in, like mm -hmm. not be carrying around a huge camera or maybe just bring my little point and shoot with me and just like have an actual vacation. Yeah. Because um, I think I need I need to do that. but. Yeah, man, it's, it's just trying to find that balance, I guess that's a theme here. Yeah, that balance between like getting the work done and being deliberate, but then also taking the time when I need it. Because that's how we all get burnt out. I mean, it oh, doesn't yeah. matter what you're working in. You kind of can feel when you're getting overwhelmed or maybe you're having more anxiety than usual. Or you're having like a random panic attack. I mean, your body's telling you that you're stressed and sometimes you have no choice but to listen. Exactly. So. Kind of before we, we sort of wrap things up and everything, any uh, like last thoughts or things you want to share? Um, um, all that good stuff? I would just say that I am like extremely lucky to have such a supportive um, group of friends and creatives and artists around me. Um, and again, being part of the Be More Creatives like really helped me expand that network. So I'd encourage anyone like, if you're unsure about uh, 
you know, a certain type of field that you want to get into or you want to learn more about, like people are very friendly and they want to talk and they want to collaborate, like reach out, do not be afraid, don't think because you don't have a, a huge medium format camera or a digital camera that you can't go out like take your phone your samsung iphone pixel whatever it is exactly. all the cameras are so good now like you can do it so get out there um and that's that's something that i've struggled with in the past and the only reason that i've continued to produce work and, and get out there is because i've had really supportive friends just encouraging me um and saying these same same type of things you know so i just hope that anyone who's in, you know inspired or has an idea that they want to get out there and do just go do it just just go walk around the city walk wherever shoot wherever um just start i love it and where can people find you on socials you can find me um, at Isaiah RW on Instagram. So it's I S A I A H R W. Um, and then my website's the same thing, IsaiahRW.com. And you can also go to the Be More Creatives, um, our Instagram uh, website, email, however you need. Um, and you can get a hold of me or the rest of the team there that way. So nice. Awesome. Well, I appreciate your time, man. I appreciate you having me. This was awesome. I'm like, can we set up a continual <laughs> coloring? Just, you know? just do it forever? Right. And, and with that, I present to you our gift of a Pog. Oh, Straight nice, out of the 90s. dude. I love it, dude. <laughs> Pogs were huge. Yeah. They're huge. Yeah. I'm, my cousins all had them. So all of the Pogs that I ever, like, used or played with were my cousins. So this is, like, this is huge. I'm, I'm back in Brooklyn. <laughs> Brooklyn in the 90s right now. I appreciate right. it, dude. Of course. And then a nice uh, Two Tony Productions oh, pin as sick. well. Oh, that's sick. Thanks, man. Look at the detail on that. Yeah, I got them made about two years ago. And I've just been kind of, like, sitting awesome. on them. That's, not sure what to do with them. That's so. going on a jacket right there. There we go. This is great. Awesome, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. it. Did an awesome little coloring job today. Yeah, I'm and, proud. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, appreciate it. Peace.